Welcome back guys. I hope you managed to solve the problem that I gave you guys yesterday. Hope it wasn't too hard and you at least managed to do what I needed you guys to do. Here now, I will give you the solution for one of the two methods that I have asked you guys to try yesterday. Now, we're going to look at the simple method. This is for the kids. Younger kids, say around 10 or 11 and below, should use this solution because this is the simple one. Let's get moving. Alright, so now we have the object from yesterday, the red object which we have created, okay. Uh, we will start by going to events and grabbing the green, okay. Next thing we need to do is we need to go to control and we'll use the wait until function. Okay, what we will use the wait until is we we'll wait until it touches the ball. So when it touches the ball, what are we going to do? We're going to hide it. Okay, good. So the height is under looks. Uh, height. Okay, and we need to do the sensing. Sensing, we need to be wait until touching the ball. Okay, let's give it a go. Okay, we're going to move this so that it touches the ball on impact. Does the ball disappear? Does the ball disappear? Good. All right. Okay. So let's, if you notice now, if I click start again, the block did not reappear. So now we would use the show function. The show is here. Put it just after we click. So after we click go, the block will reappear and then it will wait until touching ball okay so you can see the red block is there let me bounce up and i'll just move this into place does it work does it work all right it works okay but if you notice the ball went right through the object it did not bounce off the object okay so now we would have to code the bouncing off the object part all right so let me just go to the ball here if touching pedal point in direction okay same thing we're going to do we're going to duplicate this block here all right without the move at the bottom if touching object bounce off okay the code is exactly the same it's just going to bounce off the object now all right let's give it a go does it work does it work oops did not work hmm let me see what's wrong with the code. Uh, the ball. If touching object point in direction. Move. Uh, it should be bouncing off. Let's leave it to go again. Tick. Okay. Oh, let me see the code again. Uh, the code. What the ball? Oh, I know why. The object actually disappeared before it bounced off. Okay, so let me go to the object. Before the object height, we add a time there, add a delay. Okay, just put here at 0 0.1 second. It should work. Let's give it a go. Okay, bounce the ball up. Okay, can you see it? All right, so previously what happened was when the ball touches the object, it instantly was hidden and it couldn't activate the second code, the second code from the ball portion, this part here. Okay, so what I've done is I've added a small weight before it's hidden, allowing the ball to trigger the other event, the event in the ball, under the ball. If touching object, then bounce. Okay, all right, so we are almost done. Let me just bring the thing back. We move this object to the right side okay another trick that i want to teach you now is how to duplicate an object or a sprite right click duplicate okay we can place this here duplicate paste this here duplicate and place the last one there okay let's give it a go does it work oh it does not it does not bounce off the object it will only bounce off the first object not the rest because the rest hasn't been coded in okay so let me go back to the ball 
and we need to touching object, right? You can select, you can duplicate this a couple of times if you wanted to. Okay, duplicate a couple of times, sorry. A few more of these if you wanted to, and then change it to object 2, object 3. It will work. Yes, it will work. But let me show you another method, okay? Let's throw this away. Under sensing, touching color. Okay, instead of touching, we use it touching color. And this color here, we can select the red, the, sorry, this dropper here. Select the red color. Okay, as long as it touches any red in your program, it will trigger the thing. Okay, let's go. Let's give it a go. Bounce. Okay. So instead of touching an object, it will trigger when it touches the red color. Okay. If you notice, when it touches the side, it also triggers it. Doesn't matter. We just use the code now. Okay. This is the simplified code for kids under 12 years old to learn. Coming right up is another video with a more complex and smarter solution. Stay tuned if you want to watch that video. Thank you, guys.